Howdy, I'm Juan. And I'm G. And we are the visionaries behind the Gentleman's Foundation and Love Works Life and Relationship Coaching Services. And we are here to firm up your life. I've always been a connector of people. Now it's time to help you connect to your best self. I'm teaming up with some of Atlanta's most talented entrepreneurs to help you firm up your life in 21 days. Supercharge your faith, sharpen your focus, and save your finances. Get ready to be empowered with Juan and G. Smalls. Juan and G are the founders of Juan and G Enterprises and Love Works with relationship, dating, and life coaching services that they've affectionately called Love Coaching. Now, I'm Byron Jamal, and we're here to firm up your life in 21 days. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming out here in the wilderness with me. Under <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Be one with nature and the world, right? <laughs> so glad. Look, guys, you, you guys have been a uh, great inspiration for a lot of people who, as uh, one of our other people who joined us, Victor said, who look and sound like So uh, how is it that you found the faith and the courage and the inspiration to take that extra step and actually commit to it? Well, <laughs> that's an interesting question. I um, it was just natural. Yeah. I know when, from we've been together since the first day. Um, we had a our first date. We met one night. The next day we had our first date, and as we were sitting across the table from each other, I felt something within me that I had never felt before, and it was scary. Um, it was unfamiliar. It was terrifying, actually. But I said walk towards that. Um, I said, do the opposite of everything that you've done in your life. different And so I, I walked towards that and I walked towards my husband. Having said to myself, I would never marry a man. So I think um, that was just natural. It was a natural progression. Um, we never planned to get married, really. We say marriage chose us and we just allowed God, the universe, whatever you call it, to be us. And we just followed our heart. Um, we found ourselves doing things we never said we would do because it felt right. And, and that's just the best way to sum it up. It just felt right. Yeah, I don't know if it, it took courage because I didn't feel like it, it was, uh, I don't feel like it was courageous at all. Um, I, I felt like it was a blessing. You know, and I've always been a, um, it, it wasn't terrifying for me, but obviously it was terrifying for him, but I've always been, I'm, 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 I've always been a very relationship person and I love love. Um, so it was an adventure for me and it was very exciting for me. So I don't think that, um, it's a courage at all. It was, it was very easy. Yeah, it was easy. But I, you know, I think that, like he said, we didn't really plan or set out to be husbands. Um, so I think maybe if that was something that was in the air at the time, maybe that would have been scary for me. Um, to think that I was going to be marrying a man, especially just coming out of uh, a divorce with a woman probably like maybe four or five years uh, before, never thinking I would get married to a man, that would be very scary for me. But I never thought about it. We just fell in love and marriage kind of, you know, happened. So it wasn't anything that was I had to prepare for. It was just... Did either of you battle issues with faith, religion, uh, anything like that as you were progressing into absolutely in our relationship in your relationship not our relationship not, not necessarily but individually no, individually okay. i mean i think that i mean i've i've been in the place where i tried to pray the gay way as well you know i've i've been in that place uh, which took me to the altar the first time you know um trying to do the right thing but you know by the time i had um met Juan, i had already um resolve my um, conflicts with spirituality and religion and my sexuality. Um, what did it for you? Um, what did it for me? I don't know. I mean, it was just, I, I think that it was just trying to do the right thing for so long and it never feeling right. Mm -hmm. And then when I, when I do submit myself to what is inside, it, it feels right and effortless. And I think that that was the, it. Couldn't be wrong at that point, you know, because it was from within and it, it was from God. So it it was undeniable for me because I already had lived a life full of trying to follow what 
or something. God, people told me God was supposed to be, and that wasn't right for me. So, yeah. I've never um, had the struggle with my gayness, mm -hmm. um, not as it relates to spirituality. Um, now, as it relates to family and friends and being in the closet, that's a different story. But as as it relates to spirituality, I've never tried to pray the gay away. I never um, wished I wasn't gay. I never had any issue with my relationship with God. Um, as far as sexuality is, is concerned, um, I had other issues with, um, with God and his controlling nature. At least that's what the older people in my life would tell me. You don't question God. You do as he says. You know, and I'm a very inquisitive person. So that just didn't mesh up with me. But um, it's interesting that our two stories, we, that we attracted each other because he did try to pray the gateway once and I never have. So that creates that balance yes. that when we come together, those two stories merging, those two perspectives joining, kind of creates the perfect um, formula, if you will. Um, and I think that's what makes us work. We're so similar, but we're, we have such different experiences that when we come together, we're able to share those and help other people um, because of those contrasts. So now you two. Stay tuned for more from Juan and G. For more information on how to firm up your life, visit theredbookmg.com.